So hello, can you show me your batch maybe and tell me your name? My name is Tasha Akinsayer and I'm with National Geographic News based in Washington DC. Okay, so you're here as a journalist yes. at the World Water Week in Stockholm. So what's your experience so far? Um, it's been very interesting, easy to track people down actually compared to something like Istanbul and the World Water Forum, so this feels very civilized. Very civilized. <laughs> so have you found an interesting stories yet? Definitely. Um, great stories emerging about the relationship between energy and water. Uh, the emerging contaminants is of interest to our readers, wetlands. So is it easy to be here as press? Do you feel like the... Because we've got a lot of people here who are really passionate about their work and they really want to get the message out because they're really interested in what they do. But are they able to communicate it efficiently? Um, I think it's probably the job of press to ask follow-up questions and and get policymakers and scientists to speak in layman's terms. So maybe initially during sessions they aren't speaking in a language that most people understand, <laughs> but um, with a few follow-up questions most people can translate. Okay, so if you could, if you had any kind of request to the water sector on how they could speak up better or or formulate themselves better to get the messages out, what would that be? Um, that is a good question. Let's see, not so much um, language. <laughs> All of these very thick papers that you have to wade through with jargon, I mean they're useful to some degree but not for a general audience. It just depends on who you want to get your message to. Okay, so try and keep it simple, would that be your advice? Keep it simple, um, have a clear message, have a singular message in some cases. So yeah, I think you said it for me, <laughs> keep it simple. <laughs> okay, so what do you think you'll write about at the World Water Week? Um, I've written about this new report on the, the river dolphins that's coming out of WWF. Um, the report on climate change adaptation for water storage related to food security. Um, other reports coming out I'll write about, but then I'll do some features on the energy water nexus and emerging contaminants. Okay, so good luck with that. Thank, and you. thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye.